you to uh, introduce yourself and uh, let everyone know which wonderful work was yours. Uh, I'm Marcel Soledad and I was, I'm the creator of Out of the Box. Uh, I'm Joe and I'm the creator of Fishy. I'm Isaac and I'm the creator of Sado. I'm Daniel and I'm the creator of Pirates or Mother. Thank you for joining us for this uh, encore screening. Um, I'd love to know, actually, just right off the bat, um, how did you, you know, come up with this metaphor for um, a clown and a mime um, as paralleling sort of like openness and being yourself? Well, so I was like looking for ideas for my thesis, and I knew I wanted to do something like queer related, and I didn't know how to do it like super not explicitly. And I was in the shower, and I was like, what about if like a mime wants to be a clown? I was just like, no, that's so stupid, like, it will not work. And then I was like, no, wait a second. And then I started, like, you know, thinking of, you know, mimes are, like, black and white, and, like, clowns are super colorful, and, like, mimes are supposed to be very, well, in my world, like, I made them to be super serious and, like, strict and straight and, like, and then they The clowns, rigidity of my yeah, life, yeah. Exactly, yeah, so, like, they're, like, should be all, like, the same. And I just, like, started developing the concept, and I think it worked out. Yeah, playing the color palettes and everything like that, too. And Joe, um, I, of course, I love the ending of your film. I find it extremely surprising and sort of um, it very much brings together things that aren't as clear at the beginning in an extremely powerful way. Um, I was curious if you came up with the idea about sort of this like father-son bond first and worked backwards, um, or how you sort of developed the structure of your film. Ah, uh, well, the ending kind of came later on oh, in, okay. the, in the, the process. I changed my story multiple times um, trying to figure out the timing and, and the order of events and there was uh, another there was a time where I was gonna have this big tidal wave come and then the mermaid was gonna save and that it was just all over the place um, I didn't do that because I was like no I'm not gonna animate a tidal wave <laughs> um, so I, I, I had that idea I know I wanted that theme of like the father-son relationship um, and the idea of um, parents with LGBT kids who don't really under quite understand them um, and their world and trying to understand them better. So uh, and flipping the roles of the parent and the child so that he has a better understanding of his kid. Um, so that was always something that I wanted to pursue. Um, just the way that it, it uh, how I executed it changed a little bit during the process. I think it was really well. it's just all comes together. Thank you. How did you go over the think of the class? Um, and also, I know that um, Amanda Lepore is credited as the mermaid. Um, do you actually have Amanda Lepore go, ooh, ooh, or was that someone else? Or? No, that was Amanda Lepore. Oh, boy, all right, nice. Yeah, yeah we had Amanda Lepore on here. Really, really fun. Um, recording her for that, because there's some dialogue in my film. Yeah. So I literally just went to her apartment and I was like, all right, make this noise, and she would make the noise, and it, it worked. I think it- Very it, generous. Yeah, <laughs> she's great. Um, Isaac, I wanted to ask you too, um, I know you're an artist, right? Um, you probably know the Morgan Fine Arts. Um, what was it like, sort of the process of making, you know, more of a animation film? Uh, yeah, it was, um, I didn't, I, I had a really difficult time starting it because I, 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 I'm so new to this. Um, so I guess my approach was to just sort of come up with a, like a few beats that I wanted to hit on and then it was really for me more about making the, the actual physical sets and um, I kind of just like, once I had all the objects made sort of winged it a little bit from there um, and I just, I was just like hunched down in this basement of a room at Hunter College and shooting it on my iPhone and just, you know, I, I had like a few sort of uh, emotional themes I wanted to hit on and, and sort of just I kind of improvised as much as you can with this last, a process that's that slow um, to try to hit those themes. Yeah, and did the Ann Carson epigraph come before you made the film or after? After. After you saw it and you're like, I have to test Ann Carson. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Um, and of course, uh, I'd love to talk about how it's your mother as well. Um, I, of course, love the finger cutoff moment. Um, was that something when you're like, you know, writing it down, executing, you're like, oh, this thing is gonna be a killer. That one moment where she cuts off her finger, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, 
I think it was sort of a, I didn't expect the blood to work out as nicely as it did. It was because it's just, it's, it's frame by frame blood. Uh, so liquids and stop motion is sort of a, a pain. That's just actually just hair gel and, and food coloring. So I'm glad that it, especially this crowd had an especially visceral reaction, which I appreciated. So thank you for your, your shock. Okay. Um, so we have time for maybe like a couple questions. I wanted to see if anyone in the audience wanted to do a question. No questions? Oh, I see one in the back. Yep. Yeah, uh, I have a question for Isaac. Um, if you had to extend the film and show us beyond where it ended, what do you think you would show us? <laughs> um, if if I had to extend the film, I don't. I think it probably would have ended in in the same place, but I think there would have just been more. It would have been more maybe grotesque and there would be more more violence more sexiness and more violence probably <laughs> right here. how much time <clears throat> is involved in making one minute of animation video I know that's a general question, but I know that it's so much so labor intensive. I've never worked yeah, with them. You just want to touch on like the process or how long really it takes to put together. That's, that's definitely the question that gives the the best shock value to non animators. <laughs> yeah, that's the big question. Like for a paper film, I remember I made, I could say that the stack was this high of the papers, and that's a good impressive visual. Uh, for stop motion, um, because the process is a bit different from hand drawn. Um, because it's it's sort of defined by different parts of you have to create what you animate later. Um, so personally, that process, the only the animation process was only about two months, a month and a half. But the whole process from start to finish was about eight months of of like pretty uh, about sixty hours of work a week almost. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 a little bit closer to the to the non animator side. Um, and I'm sure mine has many fewer frames than, than yours does. Um, but even that, it, I think it took me, I figured out like an, an hour I could film four seconds. And it's three, three minutes, so math is hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't want to measure how long I was <laughs> working, um, but I had about a year uh, to make this film. I did most of it myself I had help with um, inking and coloring which is extremely tedious because you have to draw out all of your frames um, and then you have to go back and retrace them with a clean line and you have to color it in um, but that's work that you could hand off to someone else uh, if you have a, a team of people so um, it, it is a very a very tedious process and uh, the, my animation I was I was focusing on acting, which kind of requires you to put like, a lot of frames if you want to capture that moment. Um, so it's a, it's a lot. I don't know how much. One minute? I don't know. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. I repress that memory of how long it took me to do this. Long time. <laughs> I mean, I think for Joe's film and my film, it's a very similar process. We both did as our thesis is. What do you side? I don't know what's a cool role. <laughs> it's inner joke. Um, but yeah, so. Animating, I spent around five months without cleanup and without pre-production, which means like I figured out the story, doing storyboards, creating the animatic, that was like a two-month process. And then just as he did, I got help in the cleanup, the cleanup process at the end, so I could like focus on other things of like compositing or making, putting everything together. Um, I guess the final question I have for, and all of you can briefly answer, um, you know, I'm so happy that we were able to program all of your shorts in this. Um, can you tell the audience where they may be able to see more of your work, or where the short may be showing if they want to send it to another friend later in the future? Do you have any plans for them? Uh, okay, well, I'm on Instagram, and you can see more of my work on Instagram. It's at Marcel Soleta. It's pretty simple. Um, if you would like to see the short again, you can message me directly on Instagram, and I can send you a link. And yeah, it's still being submitted to festivals. I don't know where else it's playing anytime soon. But. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. Um, my name is J Solcenti1205. A lot of my work is on there. I have a website. It's just my name, JoeSolcenti.com. Um, and if you want to see the film again, or if you want to share it, 
It's uh, on Vimeo right now, but it's private, so um, you'd have to request a password from me. Um, if you want to have cards, I can give you so that you can have the information if you want to see it again. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any social media presence, but I'm, I'm around if you want to talk to me. I'm thinking of putting the film up on Mother's Day as a Mother's Day treat. Uh, if I have the patience, most likely I'll put it online earlier. But if you're in Milwaukee or Indianapolis, I think, or, or Belgium, then you can see it as well. But my, my Vimeo has my, my other work in the meantime. All right. Well, thank you guys again for coming out and all of you as well. Um, so thank you so much. And have a good afternoon. Our first, the bottom of the box in the lobby. With the information. Yeah. <laughs>